All right guys, today I wanted to do an interesting breakdown and kind of a little bit of a thought exercise, but something that I thought was worth talking about. And that is, as the title of this video is already given away, what is the best department store or sporting goods store for knife enthusiasts? Now, broadly speaking, I wanna kind of lead this up with the point that you know, luckily we live in a day and age where a lot of things can be shipped. So I would always recommend if you live in an area where there is a knife specialty store, like I live in Anchorage um, and here we have like Northern Knives, EDC Alaska, and a handful of other like specialty knife stores, like knives or stores that spe specialize in knives themselves. And so if you're looking or you're a knife enthusiast by and large, I would always recommend looking at, you know, a knife specialty store for a couple of reasons. One, one, usually speaking with, you know, more standard knives like the one you see here, like this uh, Para 3, you know, you're going to see um, better deals or prices for them. You're also going to have better options, I think is the biggest thing. You're not just going to be, you know, forced into buying a black G10 S45VN or in this case, the CPM S30V um, version of a knife. You're going to get better, you know, options. Um, you're also going to get better options in brands and makes, models, stuff like that. So that is my first kind of prelude to this. Um, like I was also going to say, there's also a lot of options for online purchasing, whether you buy through a dealer like Blade HQ or whether you go to, as I prefer, the secondary market that can be found on things like Blade Forums and, you know, buy knives through the Blade Forums. You can get really good deals on a really good knives. However, the one catch to, you know, buying on the secondary market is that, you have to buy whatever is being sold, right? So if you want a particular style of knife that might not be available at that given time, or you might just have to be patient enough to wait for the right knife to come up. So anyways, those with those kind of notes out of the way, what major, or what major um, store, like I said, like block store or kind of, so what major outdoor sporting goods retailers have the best knife choices? Now I say this because, and I wanted to do this thought experiment because genuinely I think it is surprising. And I do think that this video will hopefully shed some light and hopefully kind of actually surprise some of you guys. So like I said, definitely always wanna choose a knife specific retailer. But for me, I went to four locations, the four locations or box stores that we have here in Anchorage and they I think are pretty representative of most places across the, the lower 48. Of course, in the lower 48, you have places like Dick's Sporting Goods. We do not have any of those in Alaska. There's also, um, what is it? There's another one I'm trying to remember that's not as popular, Sports Authority, there we go. Yeah, that's another sporting goods store. We used to have those here, but Sports Authority, like I said, uh, is kind of like going the way of the dinosaur. So there's not a lot of Sports Authorities in general. So you probably won't see those too frequently. However, like I said, there still are a few others out there that exist that I did not go to. So, um, because they don't, they're not here. Now, the, like I said, the ones I went to were Bass Pro Shop, I went to REI and then I went to um, Sportsman's Warehouse and Cabela's. And I think those are like the big four sporting goods places where most people are going to go um, who are kind of teetering on that like knife enthusiast level. Now, of course, too, there's a lot of other things at sporting goods places. There's fishing, hunting, you know, different things. And so I'm not saying that you should go to a sporting goods place specifically for knives. They carry a lot of things. They're kind of like a general store, but for outdoors things. So you're gonna find like fishing rods, lures, you're gonna find firearms, ammunition, you're gonna find a lot of other things. So that's why knife specialty stores are always going to be the best for knives is because a general, um, you know, sporting goods store is going to carry a multitude of things for outdoors and knives just so happen to be one of those things. So first up in last place for me, and I actually was a little bit surprised by this one, has to be Bass Pro Shop. I was really disappointed to see in Bass Pro Shop the one lack of selection and lack of knives as a whole. And once again, as a knife enthusiast, I might be slightly biased to knives, um, but at the same time too, it was really disappointing to see that basically they had like one to two brands, they were budget brands. I think it was like Kershaw, Gerber, and a few cheaper bucks. 
and it was like one small row in the store. So you have this huge store, you have a literal like fish in a tank and all that kind of stuff. So when you walk into Bass Pro, like your expectations are set, in my opinion, kind of high for everything, right? Like for clothing, for firearms, for knives, for like all of the, you know, typical outdoor stuff. And I think as far as Bass Pro goes, they do a pretty good job with just about everything else. I think they could have a slightly wider selection of firearms, but they do have some like AR-15s, you know, some good modern, sporting rifles i guess you could say um and then also lots of hunting uh, or firearms just as you would expect like as a typical hunting store would have but i will say it was pretty disappointing as far as the knives go they are ranked number four at the lowest because i think that they really honestly didn't offer like that much difference or that much value all right so next one up is going to be number three and for me number three is rei now rei is an interesting one because rei for those who don't know pretty much exclusively like in their selection they pretty much exclusively carry benchmade in Leatherman. Now they do have a few other brands and they have like a few other things but by and large when you go to most reis the um they basically just have like benchmade and Leatherman. And I don't hate Benchmade and I definitely don't hate Leatherman by and large, but when I built this list, I built this list to compare like what is the best as far as quality of tools. And so they do strike well in having good quality tools. Like Benchmade by and large, a little bit pricey, though that kind of fits honestly the motif of REI because REI is kind of expensive as a rule. But um, you know, like the quality as far as Benchmade goes, like it's better than, you know, your baseline Gerber's, Kershaw's, stuff like that so it is quality and of course leatherman's right there with them but the selection is like basically you get like 10 models you know of tools to choose from and that's it like take it or leave it and that's that's being generous i think there's probably like six or six to eight like actual like knives that they have there or different models to choose from and some of them are fixed blades some of them are folders and so you have things like the 940 osborne there um you have things like the mini adamas i should have pulled my mini adamas but i pulled my auto adamas but you have things like that you have the um so you have stuff like that. You have like the bug out, obviously. You have those different knives. And so classic staples of Benchmade, but it's just kind of disappointing to see, you know, like it, the, it's just Benchmade. And then of course you have like the Leatherman Wave, the Charge, the Signal, like all of those typical tools. So I give them number three because they do well in like having reputable brands and like quality tools, of course, all of them being USA made. I like that. But at the same time too, it's like you're given Benchmade and Leatherman. Those are your only two choices. You don't get anything else. And if you don't like those brands, then screw you. It would be nice to see something like some of the USA made um, Spydercos, like once again, the Para, th Para 3 or PM2. Um, those would be really cool um, additions in my opinion. Anyways, I don't really think REI sells a lot of knives and I don't think they really specialize towards that because to be honest, like I said, like REI is one of those interesting sporting goods stores because I think that they genuinely appeal to a different audience of people who are more like glamping as opposed to actual camping or, you know, like people who are backpacking but in more of a kind of mundane or urbane um, kind of way. So like they're, they're trying to appeal to those people who have more sensible tastes so i think that's kind of their angle and why they just don't carry a lot of knives i don't think they really move a lot so i don't think that they would cater to them anyways next one up is going to be cabela's now i was kind of almost hesitant to go to cabela's because for those who don't know bass pro shop bought up cabela's or maybe it's vice versa i can't remember one of them bought the other and so they're basically a conglomerate in the same but they are technically two different stores at least here in alaska you have like cabela's and you have bass pro i think that's pretty representative of the lower 48 as well so I did want to check them out and give them their fair shake. And I was actually pretty surprised to see that Cabela's had probably the second largest selection, not only to first place, which we'll get to in just a minute, but they had a decent selection. I would say probably, um, once again, the second place selection where they had a, what I was looking for, you know, is a good amount of quality tools, a good amount of price range, and a good amount of like selection, like just a good amount of tools to choose from. And I think I really saw that with Cabela's where you saw everything from your traditional case, you know, um, 
traditional folders. You had, of course, Benchmades, Spydercos. You had uh, mid-range like Kershaws. Of course, lots of buck knives. Like they had probably the most amount of buck knives of any knife that, or of any like place I went to. They definitely had a ton of buck knives. They had some ZTs like the 0562, like this guy. They had the 0450. And in case you guys are wondering, I did pull all these knives specifically because these are knives that I did legitimately see at these stores. Of course, I do have more specialized knives that would not be at these stores, but figured I'd pull out like knives that I actually saw, minus this tactile up in the corner. The tactile is just existing up there, don't mind it. But anyways, so um, yeah, so they, they had a decent selection, a decent price range, and once again, a decent amount of quality tools there. Once again, I would consider Benchmade at least for beginners and people who aren't like deeply immersed into the knife world, I would consider Benchmade like a quality knife company. Spyderco, obviously quality. ZT, despite what people will say on the forums, ZT is quality. Um, you know, like they had a decent amount of quality choices there. Once again, the Kershaws and stuff, not quite as high quality, but still just fine. They had some CRKT stuff there too. Um, yeah, so they had a decent broad spectrum. And that was something that kind of surprised me because I was like, you know, Bass Pro and Cabela's are very, very, very similar, especially even more so now that they're owned by the same like conglomeration. They have both have like tanks of fish, you know, like big fish swimming around and like for however many years the place has been open. So, you know, like there's that kind of uh, aesthetic to them. But uh, yeah, both, both are very similar, but Cabela's, definitely has a better knife selection to it. All right, so that leaves me with one last choice and or one last um, place that I went to, and that is Sportsman's Warehouse. Now, I was kind of curious about this because where I had previously lived up in Fairbanks, um, we didn't have as many options as far as sporting goods places goes, but uh, we had more like kind of local places, but even up in Fairbanks, as far as like, you know, major like big brand or kind of box or retail, you know, stores uh, for sporting goods, Sportsman's Warehouse had always been a standout option. Like they had always been a really good place, surprisingly, for knives. Like this is the place that, you know, once again, it depends on who's ordering what, but at my Sportsman's up in uh, Fairbanks, they had actually gone through a phase of carrying like Bark River knives, like Bravo Ones, Auroras, just things that you would like genuinely not expect to see at like a big box store. Um, these are the types of knives, like I said, like Bark River knives are getting definitely more into your custom slash semi-custom slash like specialty knives. Like you're not expecting to see that level of knife at like a retail store because these are just knives that are not made in retail store quantities. And I think that's kind of like where a lot of like knife enthusiasts may not quite get it or people new to the knife world. Like why don't I see like TRM at, you know, a big box store? It's because TRM doesn't make enough knives to supply a big box store, right? Like TRM cannot manufacture enough knives to be able to supply, you know, 500 stores with their knives, right? It'd be cool, but they don't possess that capability. Whereas someone like Benchmade can make enough 940 Osbournes to support five, 600,000 stores stores probably. So that's why you see a lot of things like Benchmades as opposed to, you know, these smaller, more niche, like even Tactile Turn here or Tactile Knife Co. with their Maverick, you know, like you don't see Mavericks there because they don't make enough, ma they barely make enough Mavericks to keep them in stock on their website. So they're very low production knives. So I will say it definitely impresses me to see Sportsman's, you know, where they have like, you know, specialty knife brands like Bark River, um, they are present on their display. Now, unfortunately, they didn't have any Bark Rivers today, but I'm saying like I have seen those in the past at Sportsman's and it is pretty impressive to see those. But for sure, even when I went to, um, even when I went, uh, and to like kind of scope it out and scout it out. There were definitely tons of spider codes. There were tons of bench mates. Like legitimately they had like one of their whole, you know, like case display cases, just full of different bench mates. And honestly, I will say they have 
pretty reasonable prices. Like if you go to REI to buy a Benchmade, you're going to be paying the butterfly tax for sure. But oftentimes what I found with like sportsmen's, they will usually try to price, especially their Benchmades, but some of their others like Spydercos, like a little bit below average. Like if you go to um, Benchmade's website or you price them out online, like they will usually be like five to $10 less, which isn't a huge savings, but it's still like, competitive it's a little bit less than the baseline price on these knives so i am pretty impressed by that of course they have lots of kershaws and um like a few mora knives in there and so i would say like they definitely have the best range of price quality and selection like there's a pretty high chance that if you walk into a sportsman's um and you're looking for knives even if you're like an enthusiast level of knives you might actually find something that you are interested in like they had the new like shot show edition of the bailout they had the new editions of the what is it shootout and so they had like the newer kind of benchmade knives and once again benchmade is a little bit more mainstream but at the same time too i think uh, places like sportsman's once again like they kind of have to go with more mainstream knife companies because once again when you're trying to supply 500 stores with the same knives to, you know create this you know uniform in your stores then it ends up kind of trickling down to but we have to go with bigger knife companies like Spyderco, like Benchmade who can meet those demands even places like ZT you know can still have the production capacity to supply you know a few hundred stores as opposed to you know these really niche brands like TRM or Tactile Knife Co or even semi larger companies like you know Emerson or Heretic Knives where you know these knife companies are just not producing the numbers that or the quantities that would be requisite. So anyways, Sportsman's Warehouse is the winner of the kind of unofficial list. If you are looking, I would say like for me in my mind, a lot of people I think overlook Sportsman's Warehouse as a place to get sporting good stuff. But for me, in my opinion, I've always really liked them as far as like they almost always have a good selection of ammo, firearms, and knives and for me that's a huge win and of course i should note too um sportsman's does carry a lot of different multi-tools and leatherman especially being one of them so if you are looking for leathermans uh, in fact my much beloved leatherman that i don't have here to show but my you know like much beloved g10 charge plus was in fact an actual leatherman special with sportsman's it was like the earth colored g10 um, charge plus so it was actually a sportsman's exclusive so kind of shows you how much i like them but also it was just a really good like uh, colorway so i obviously had to pick it up but yeah so i do think sportsman's is pretty good but i think i feel like a lot of times people look at rei they look at cabela's they look at bass pro and they're like oh yeah that's where we go to get these things but honestly i would not overlook sportsmen's for just in general sporting good stuff but also especially knives because they almost always are killing it with knives like to all of the sportsmen's warehouses i've been to and in fairness it's not like a ton of them but to all of the ones i have been to they pretty much always have a really really solid knife selection and so as a knife enthusiast i do appreciate that a lot um but yeah so hopefully you guys found this video enjoyable i know it's been a lot of talking and not a whole lot of like playing with knives but uh I thought it would be fun to kind of do this video and you know talk about the different knife companies out there that uh, are or the different i should say big box stores that carry knives sporting goods stores that have these selections of course there are other stores and i might redo this video in the future given that nature but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out